right, DR Amsterdam, I'm talking to a real interesting company because it's a gadget, it's a chip, it's a really interesting thing. This thing is really relevant. It is a radar chip and it basically can detect people and all kinds of other things. And it's Viar from Israel and um, basically over familiar. What does Viar exactly do? So we develop at the heart these very, very unique radar chips. Um, these are 3D imaging sensors. We put a lot of antennas there. Um, so we get very high resolution. And the nice thing is that you don't need any optics or any cameras. So you don't need You don't need light. You don't need light. You can see in the smoke. You can see through the bathroom curtain, etc. What is the distance which you basically can uh, detect? So something like this um, can probably cover around 8 to 10 meters in distance, even longer for some applications. And that is, of course, I mean, if I can see in the dark with a certain resolution, here I can basically uh, see people, I can see where they are, I can track them, I can see if they're up and down, all these kinds of things the chip can do. Yeah. And now you've turned it into a product, okay? So this is the first uh, product, what is it? So this is called Wallabot Home. Um, we developed a product out of it for elderly people. First feature is to identify falls. So basically what you do is you set it up on the wall, and this will monitor the space, and if someone falls down, it will automatically identify that and then trigger a call to a monitoring center or a nurse's station or a caregiver or whoever you choose. It has also this nice touch screen that you can use to make calls on your own, um, and, um, and it has the microphones and speakers, so you can actually use the device to talk. Okay, and this is, uh, how expensive is this product? See, it's calling me. Oh, there's an emergency. So um, um, we sell it for consumers now in the U.S. We sell uh, bundle units. Uh, each device is $99 and $999 uh, monthly fees for the monitoring services. It works better than somebody who basically has something around and, and press a button. Yeah, that's exactly it. People don't like wearing those things. They Usually, even if they get it, they tend to leave it after a couple of weeks. Oh, and I, really, I basically saw on the bed. I mean, it basically then see if I'm lying in the bed, if the briefing stopped, right? You can do that kind of resolution. Yeah, so a, a part of the... Uh, Additional features that we that we are developing is also the ability to monitor the vital signs. So we have breathing monitoring now in bed. We're also trying to add now heartbeat. Hopefully it will come pretty soon as well. Um, um, but it's not only that, right? The ability to track people and their posture enables us to actually see not only if someone falls down, but actually, for example, to monitor their speed of walking, which is a very strong indicator to fall risk or it enables us to see any changes in his activity. For example, if my mother stays in bed until 12 o'clock every day, where in the last three months she used to wake up at 6 a.m. Something is going on, right? And so this is a product which could be very useful for insurance, uh, insurance company. Do you already work with companies like that? Yeah, absolutely. So we have different pilots. We launched it a couple of months ago into the market. We have now a few pilots going and um, with insurance companies, both in the US, in Europe, in Japan, and in China. Um, so it's the beginning, but, uh, but uh, we see a lot of traction. Okay. What other big markets do you see? So we do a lot of other things also in home. Um, like home security and smart buildings to, to understand the, u the utilization of spaces, etc. We do a lot of work in automotive where we monitor in cabin. So we monitor if there's a baby left behind or how close the driver, the driver is. Um, funny enough, this gets into regulatory uh, NCAP EU uh, forces car manufacturers to... No, no. 2022. It's, In 2022, every car needs to be able to see if somebody, if a dog or a baby is kept in the car? Yeah. In a, basically keep the temperature at a, at a reasonable level. Keep the temperature, alarm, open the doors. There are quite a few different... That is legislation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is by... Okay, so that's the second bigger market. Then and one more market? We do a lot of work in robotics, in homeland security, um, in industrial applications. Uh, homeland security, we build systems for screening people. Hey, and you're a company from Israel. How many people in the company? Yeah, so we're based out of Israel. We're about 150 people now. Um, Started in... Started in 2011. And how much money did you raise? We raised in total $79 million in three investment rounds, uh, led by companies like Bessemer Ventures, Battery Ventures, uh, uh, Israel Cleantech Ventures, so, so very senior. Yeah. And uh, now I want to buy one for, my, uh, for myself in the Netherlands. Can I do that? 
So we don't sell it yet for consumers in the Netherlands. We do, however, uh, work with B2B partners, both in the Netherlands and across Europe. Um, um, for you specifically, we can see what we can do. But if you're an insurance company and you basically cover older people, then I mean, giving this for $10 a month prevents a lot of very, very expensive damage. It's a great idea, it's a great product. Thank you very much. Thanks.